Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video it is basically a moving vlog. So this is going to be like a long, like just one video because I did it over a couple of videos last time and I think it just got quite boring. Um, I love watching moving vlogs so I wanted to show you guys and take you along the process with us. But today I am pretty much packing up my stuff, getting it all ready because we are moving out in two days and we're moving all of the stuff from here in two days and then all of the big furniture that's currently at jack's house it's not here because we didn't have the space for it but that's all being moved on saturday so i'm just going to film all of the process and put it into one video can't believe in one the space of one year i've got two sets of moving vlogs out basically i've got all of my boxes there i've got a box full of makeup makeup that i'm getting rid of only because ignore the full wash basket as well um i'm getting rid of this makeup because i've had it since i was about 16 like it's loads of makeup that just wouldn't even be good use to anyone then I've got a suitcase, it's currently just got a pair of jams and some socks in, um, of stuff that I'm going to be taking to live on because we don't actually get our wardrobe until the Saturday, so obviously the first night I'm not going to have clothes and stuff, so I want to make sure everything that I put in here is stuff that I'm going to be living from. That's just all my makeup and toiletries, etc. And then I've got a bag on there, which is just full of holiday bits. I think by the time this video is out... But you know what, I'm like uploading, so it might not be. Um, I'm actually meant to be in Zante, so I have some holiday bits already and I'm really excited because I literally move into the house for one week the next week I'm going abroad on holiday finally even though I went last year it just doesn't feel like I did so yeah so I'm just packing my life up pretty much but yeah so I've literally just got like boxes of stuff that just needs to be like sealed and I need to pack my stuff up and that is literally all that's happening but I thought I would definitely show you guys and I've literally got in from work hence why I look like this I don't normally dress like Mr. Unchbald Jack actually stole this one from work, thanks Jack. Kinda need to choose what I'm gonna be wearing over the next few days for work and stuff. Kinda just wanna wear what's in the wash though, but you know when it's in the wash, so I'd have to like wash it. So basically, just so I'd update everyone who has been following the journey along about why I'm all of a sudden moving again and I never did really like flat tar and things. So basically, it's not really my business to go into, so I'm not gonna go into it too much. But basically, my mum and my stepdad actually broke up earlier this year, hence why I no longer live at one location. I sometimes am at my mum's, sometimes I'm at my stepdad's. Um, basically, obviously I never wanted to lose contact with my stepdad. Not that I have, but it just was getting a bit too much for me to actually stay just living back and forth because my stepdad obviously actually moved to Leeds. Um, so yes i did move out and things like that and i did move to leeds um i thought it was going to be fine but me and my mum actually missed each other a lot more than i thought i would so i decided that i wanted to move out so i started looking for places on my own so i actually have got a boyfriend like jack i'm sure you know him if you've been following my channel for a while or you just know him because you know me um but we actually have like we have been together before we were together for like I think it was like seven years or something crazy like that and then we split and um, we we're just young at the time wanted different things so we decided to split up and yeah we actually got back together uh, i haven't really spoke about it much on my channel or on social media because i like to keep my like like things like that quite private because it tends to go better if you keep things like that private so that's why i haven't really published or posted anything on social media so this is probably why you guys have not heard anything um, but yeah, so that was that really and I just wanted to kind of update you guys So I just needed my own space and me and Jack, I was going to do it on my own But me and Jack were pretty much when I was here because I broke my foot We were pretty much living together So yeah, we decided that we were going to do it together Because if not I'd have done it on my own and it would probably moved in within a couple of weeks anyway Or a couple of months And obviously with buying a new build, because we are buying a new build We knew it was going to take a little bit longer so we knew that it, we'd have time to make sure it was the right choice and things like that. But we've been so happy about it and so excited. Definitely not been the wrong choice. So yeah, it just kind of fell into line and we just decided to be ready at the same time. And it was crazy, but we are really like happy and I'm really excited for our new chapter in our new house. <laughs> box done and dusted so i just wanted to update the vlog because it's thursday the 22nd of july and i've just woke up to a text from my sister emily saying that she didn't leave her and i'm so excited today's a due date so 
it's actually come at like the perfect time and obviously we move into the house tomorrow um but yeah i just had to update my vlog because it's so exciting like i'm actually going to be an auntie like in the next hopefully few hours hopefully she's not in labor for ages but at minute my um my stepmom and our emily's boyfriend adam isn't like they're not allowed to go to the hospital yet so i don't think she's too far on into the labor but hopefully by the end of today i don't know what her name's gonna be but little girl will hopefully make an appearance but i'm so excited literally can't wait like so many things are happening right now and i'm just so so excited for them so i will keep you updated when the baby's born but right now i've got to get off to work because it's my last day at work today for five weeks so i need to go to work and then i i don't know what else i'm gonna do oh i need to pack my room up I'm currently living in these boxes. <laughs> so this is currently what my room looks like. It's very empty. Very bare. There's just some box stuff here. All my bedding over there because my bed's actually downstairs. <sighs> Literally just TV, things like that that are all coming with us. And then, then we've got boxes on the landing and then this room is all boxed up as well. Literally it's just so empty. So yeah, this is the last time I will be sleeping in this room, hopefully. Um, we've got an air bed that we need to blow up now for tonight so that we've got somewhere to sleep and that needs to come with us tomorrow because we're not going to have our bed up tomorrow. It has been the most stressful day ever. So much has happened. Loads of different things that have just like cropped up and the things that they just haven't decided to tell us. It's just been such a horrible, horrible, stressful day. However, Good news and good things did happen because my sister gave birth to a beautiful, beautiful little girl. Um, she's called Bonnie. She is absolutely gorgeous. Um, <laughs> props to my sister. She did so well. She was in labour, like active labour, from like half past five in the morning. She was born like at tea time today, so it was literally crazy. Like, I can't believe how long she was in labour. But yeah, and I'm going to go and see her tomorrow. And I'm so excited because I literally... Like, they've sent me loads of pictures and things like that, and she's just adorable. She's so, so cute, so I can't wait to go and see her. But yeah, she's called Bonnie Grace, and she's so, she's so tiny. Like, she was literally, like, six pounds, I think she was six pound ten, or six pounds eleven. She was so, so small, oh, but I can't wait to go and see her, and, like, yeah. I literally look so sweaty and disgusting. It's been such a long day. I've just been to Jack's house helping Jack pack up, because he just hasn't packed up at all. But I didn't expect any less, to be honest. But all my stuff's completely done now. There's nothing else that I can pack up. I've just got to take it all now. Um, Jack's still got some bits to do tomorrow. I've got a little bit of stuff to do tomorrow before we can get the keys. Um, again, nothing to do with us. Just the fact that things get messed up when you're buying a house and stuff. And they like to wring it out as long as they can by the seams of it. But yeah, really, really tired. So I'm going to head to bed and then I'll pick up the vlog once we're moving everything into the house. So we've just had the call. We're going to pick up the keys right now. I'm so, 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 so excited. Um, I'll obviously take you guys along with me. I will also just put on a picture on screen now because we went to see my little niece earlier. So, so cute. I'll pop it on screen, but uh, we were literally there for like an hour and a half, maybe even two hours, three hours. Like it was so long, but we were just waiting about for his keys. So we thought we may as well go chill at theirs, but we can finally go get the keys and I'm so excited. <laughs> Finally, it's felt like ages today, so we're gonna go get them right now. So I'll show you around once we get there, but I'm so excited. So um, I've just got back. I went for my COVID vaccination. I don't think I've updated my vlog like in ages. Loads of family have been around to see the house now um, and they all loved it. So that's really good. I'm really excited for tomorrow because uh, this vlog is gonna go in tomorrow, into tomorrow, but like loads of family are coming around to help us actually like put the furniture up and stuff. That's not here at the moment. It's all still at Jack's, so we need to like bring it through tomorrow morning. I'm for my COVID vaccine just to make sure that I'm vaccinated for Xanti next week. Um, they were lovely. I was I passed out on my first one, but this one I didn't pass out at all, so that was good. <laughs> um, and I feel fine. I've got a little bit of an ache, but it's nothing like drastic, and it doesn't hurt. Like last time, it really hurt to touch my arm, and it doesn't this time. Um, but I literally had it like half an hour ago, so oh, it could happen. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just gonna go to the supermarket now, go and get some bits because obviously this has literally got nothing in it, like we've not even got some dilute or anything. Um, then we're just gonna put a couple of the bits away, not everything, but just like some bits away, get us microwave out and stuff, and then gonna head to bed because we've got a long, long day tomorrow as well. 
So, yeah. Me and my dad just accomplished the bed. I actually helped, I'm quite proud of myself. She did. And then, she did. <laughs> and then we've also just done the washer downstairs. Well, I, I didn't do that. But my dad did the washer downstairs, so I'll show you that in a bit. And then we've still got the wardrobe to come, but we're just waiting on Jack and David and Alex to bring them back. And then we've also got the dryer to do. And then dining table's already up. So we've just got like little bits to do now, but it's actually starting to look like a house, isn't it? Yes, very much so. <laughs> but yeah, woo! <laughs> Please ignore the state of what I look like. It's Sunday, we moved in Friday, so it's like the second day that we've been in. Um, we've kind of like done everything now. There's bits that we still obviously need to get and need to do, but that's when I'm gonna do like an updated house tour. So I just thought I'd show you like what it looks like now that we're actually in. Um, so I'm kind of just going to give you like a little quick tour around. So we did have loads of boxes in this doorway. Well, Jack's moved them all for us and put them in his car and just hoovered up because there was loads of stuff everywhere. But now we've got like a dining table, got some little cute mugs, eh, mugs, glasses on there. I absolutely love this. This was from Facebook Marketplace for 50 quid from somebody's house. It was so like, the house was so lovely as well. So could not go wrong. And then in these cupboards here, We've actually filled them a little bit now. I'm saying filled them and then showing you that. But like, there's quite a lot of bits and bobs in there now. Um, we did like a big shop, but obviously there's only me and Jack living here. So we just got bits that we need for the week. Um, same for like the fridge and stuff. Just got a few bits and bobs. Um, got some vodka and stuff. But yeah, not like anything major. Um, we've actually got the washer and the dryer in now and I absolutely love them. They look so cool and they match the microwave perfectly. Um, they're so pretty and then like the knife sets on the side now we've got the uh, cutting board chopping board we've got our little coffee things we've got our salt and pepper pots and like a little it just looks more homely now it looks like it's actually being lived in and then we've just got all our little cards from everyone we've just got a vase and stuff on there but just all little cards saying happy new home and stuff then when we go into the um under the stairs part that's actually quite sorted now so we've just got like our wash basket that actually we need to do some washing um our ironing board bin and then i've sorted all the cushions out at the back so they're all nice ready for when we get our summer um things on and just some bags for like bags for life and stuff little um iron and just pan and brush down there as well then our downstairs toilet the light's been left on but just got a little soap dispenser that actually has soap now towel just everything to match really, just little toilet brush and stuff, just really cute and I still love the little white roof of this, it looks so cute. Then we've got our, <laughs> we've got our living room and Jack's tried to do the trend where you do the um, triangles but I think he got a little bit bored. So yeah, we're going to actually have a sofa here but our sofa is now not due until the 20th of August but because it's not here until um, then Jack's family are actually lending us one of their sofas because they've got one that they just don't use so we're going to borrow that for a little bit but then over this side of the room we've got our TV with TV stand and like PlayStation and that we've got our little like puffy thing we've got a little plant pot that's going to have a plant in it I just haven't picked one out yet um, and then outside the grass is starting to come back a little bit not massively we need to get a hose pipe but we've just got our garden furniture out there that we need to kind of do something with. Um, and that's pretty much it for downstairs. But it's just starting to look so much more homely and I just absolutely love it. Then going upstairs, this is the dressing room now. So we've got a huge wardrobe in, in here now. Still nothing else in here, but at least we've got a wardrobe. So that's good. Um, and I absolutely love the size of the wardrobe. It's perfect. This room has now become even bom more bombarded with boxes. It's actually crazy how many boxes are in here now. <laughs> But it's all going to get emptied as like as we go. Then our bathroom, we've actually got our little drawers in the bathroom now. We've got our actual bath and shower. Got where our toothbrushes are and everything. Just got little matching things for the bathroom. Little towel now. So it's actually starting to come together quite nicely. We have got our bedroom. So we've got the bed now, which is great. Just got some little ornaments and stuff on the sides. Jack sprayed some room spray and it's actually choking me out, oh my gosh. But yeah, so this is our room. And then we've also just got our like drawers and TV just on there for now. We are actually going to change this and put these drawers in this gap here and get some more bigger drawers so that it can sit on it and look nicer. But until then we haven't got that. Then just in our ensuite, we've not done much to our ensuite at all. We've just got our toilet rolls, just got some like... um 
things because we've not got everything from Leeds yet so there's quite a couple of bathroom bits from Leeds that we need to get but yeah so yeah that is literally everything that everything looks like now and um, we've got quite a lot of people coming to see the room at uh, the house today so I'm not going to vlog that just because it's all family and stuff but I think I am going to end this video here now because we have got everything in and I said I was going to film right up until everything was in, which it is now. Um, so I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Once everything is done and we are happy with everything, then there will be a house tour. But until then, there's not much I can show you because there's just nothing else in here. Um, and we've got plans of what we want to do with everything, but it's just not realistic until everything's here. So it probably won't be for a few months just until everything is sorted. But I really hope you enjoyed watching this whole process. I've absolutely loved it and thank you so much to our family and friends that have helped out. That have bought us cards, presents, just everything that have helped out with anything to do with the house. You've been amazing. But yeah, really hope you did enjoy. Smash a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye.